out of me. Take this criticism out of me. Who has to answer to me? Nobody, God. I have to answer to you. Give me a clean heart. Turn me around. Help me, dear God, to be pleasing in your sight. One other thought in wrapping this up is people who lack love resent authority. Resent authority. Oh, they don't mind authority as long as it agrees with them. But they resent the authority that doesn't agree with them. As long as the preacher says yes to everything they want, he's a champion. Let him say, I don't think God is in this. And they think, well, he's blind. He doesn't hear from God. I'm not getting fed. I'm not getting fed. Let me say this. If you don't get your heart right with God, you can go to the greatest church in the world and still not get fed. I find people who say, I've been to Evangel, and I've heard God speak in this church in ways that are profound. And they come and they get there and they stay and they say, I'm going someplace else because I'm not getting fed. Listen, if you don't get fed a transformed heart, it doesn't matter what comes as information. It's not going to feed you. You need to be different on the core of your life. You need God to change you so you can go through those difficulties without flaring up, without exploding, without venting yourself. You have to say, God, I want to be a pleasant person. Turn me around. I've been the ugly Christian too long. I've been the angry Christian too long. I've been the frustrated Christian too long. I growl at my wife, and whenever she misses the mark, it's as though there's been a major catastrophe. And God, it's not been that big a deal. I'm explosion in that moment waiting to happen. And God, turn me around. Change me. Let me thank you, God. You've given me a wife as good as she is. Let me be thankful for the children. Help me, dear God, to inspire them, to believe that, God, you've got hope for them. Help me, dear God, to look at my brother, my sister, instead of measuring him to find his fault. Help me, dear God, to look and see his need and pray that you'd supply all his need according to your riches in glory. Change me, rearrange me, transform me, dear God. I'm tired of being the paranoid Christian. I want to be healthy in my spirit, in my mind. Give me a clean heart. Change me, dear God, I pray. You can quit smoking, you can quit drinking, you can quit all the things that other people still are doing. And if God does not give you a loving heart, you're a stink in the nostrils of the Almighty. You can have all the outward things, Jesus said of the Pharisees. He said, you will not enter into the kingdom and you stand blocking the door. And anybody, whether it's me or you or anyone else that refuses to walk in love, we are blocking the door for God to allow other people to come into his healing, his deliverance, his power. There are no exceptions. I don't care how great you are. Love is God's commandment. It has to flow inside of our lives. If it doesn't, we are only sounding brass and tinkling, tinkling cymbal. We need God to change us. There are no exceptions. God watches what happens outside of church. And I go and close. How you treat people. How you treat people. That's what he's waiting to find out. How you treat people how you treat people I believe that we can go to court when things are meant to be handled in that way but um, with my leg the contractor was definitely at fault I thought about taking it to court but I, I, I didn't feel the prompting in my spirit to do it I hadn't lost any time at work. I was able to preach in all the services. God had blessed me through it. I, I don't expect this leg to be crippled when it's over. Next Thursday, I hope the cast will be off. 